from Staffordshire who has cerebral palsy say they're the victims of the NHS funding lottery. Ben Badley was due to have an operation in February to help him walk more easily. But the NHS cancelled it after deciding to withdraw funding for all similar operations. In July, an anonymous donor paid more than £11,000 for Ben to have it done privately. Six days later, the NHS decided they could fund these operations. But as Ben has gone private, he no longer qualifies for any NHS help. Our health correspondent, Bikaili Padwani, reports. Small steps for most, but a giant leap for Ben. He always dreamt of being able to jump. Happy? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it still makes me want to cry thinking about it. He loves it. He's always wanted to jump. And now that he's learned, he wants a trampoline. <laughs> and well, if he wants a trampoline, Santa might just have to bring one. <laughs> Before the operation, Ben Badley from North Staffordshire had to wear leg braces and was in pain. But seeing this, a Midland Today viewer stepped in. Mm. You must have been a lot. Now the 10 year old requires physiotherapy three times a week to strengthen the muscles, and it's working. He's progressing so quickly that he needs that a lot of input at the moment because we've got to keep up with him really um, and make sure that we're we're making the most of that of that potential that he's obviously got to improve the strength of his muscles. Ben used to take melatonin to help him sleep but he doesn't need it anymore. He also had to wear these splints. Now he wears insoles but they have cost the family an extra £260. Because Ben's operation was privately funded the NHS doesn't pay for aftercare. The family has so far raised £14,000 for physiotherapy they are struggling to find another £16,000. It's been a bit of a kick in the teeth. We had hoped that they would even go halves with us, help us, help him. He's a little boy, but they just, they're just not, they're not interested because we were forced to fund the, the operation. They say that we chose to fund it. We didn't. We didn't choose to. They pulled the funding and we couldn't leave Ben in agony for the rest of his life. Leave a precedent. The Asher King's family recently decided to take him for private treatment in Poland. The NHS ultimately agreed to pay for all of it. NHS England declined to comment on the difference in approach. It said it doesn't routinely fund Ben's type of operation, but is conducting a small-scale trial. Ben made it. <laughs> so the family are selling cuddly toys for a pound each, determined they're on the right path, with or without the support of the NHS. Michele Padwane. Today. The reason the West Midlands are failing to understand